Hey guys, welcome to Chris Conco Vlogs. Uh, this is a little closer look uh, at the concrete. So you can see we have the 10M rebar here. Um, we cut it at 20 inch uh, lengths. Uh, we drill in, you know, three to four inches. Uh, make sure something hard, uh, that you know, something hard is there, you know, so it's stable. And uh, you go a foot in. See the end of the, the, the form? You go a foot in and one in the middle. So you got three per form. These are eight, in, eight foot forms, so we in a foot, uh, and in a foot, and in the middle, okay? Uh, you see how we got the nails? And the nails go in all the tops, okay? Those are just two and a half inch nails. Um, not all the bottoms, but uh, it is good on the first one to put the first and last one in. So when you put your panels uh, together, you put two deck screws in there, you see? To make them nice and tight. And uh, on the first one, I only actually do it on the top, but uh, you can just put a nail in the last rebar so that uh, it's, it's nicer for um, uh, putting, fastening your forms together. Right? So you can see here, you just keep going. Three 10M rebars per eight foot form. Okay, you, you go in the foot on either end. You can obviously move it here or there, but uh, then you can see we have uh, our 15M rebar, which is a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, we have our 10M here for support, uh, and then we have our, our 15M. We're going to put two rows of 15M. We're going to come up uh, two inches, and then we're going to put uh, two inches space, and then we're going to put two, two pieces of 15M uh, on there. So don't forget to oil your forms, okay? Uh, this is so that they can strip easier. And uh, this 2x2 uh, two two is set at the uh, concrete height, so the bottom of the 2x2. Two two. Uh, we snap the line and uh, put the 2x2 two two on, uh, on the inside. Well, we only put it on one side, and you put it on first before you put the other side of the form on, because obviously it's going to be too hard to get in after. So um, there you go. There's a quicker, a little closer look into the rebar. Uh, you can see we drill it into the pile cap. <coughs> Right? We just use a, a hammer drill and um, yeah, we just drill it in there, you know. Uh, let, I'll show you, uh, like look at the depth. Uh, where are we here? See that? A few inches, right? A couple inches even. Two to three inches or whatever. Uh, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start hammer drilling down uh, uh, the, the 10M. Directly I have a, uh, the blue line here is snapped. Uh, because that is where the outside of the next form goes. So I'm going to go ahead and drill holes directly across from the other uh, rebar for this side, 10M. Okay? And then I'll go ahead and cut those and I'll put them in. The forms are here, ready to go, already oiled. Um, I'm going to show you what we use to oil it. See this little pump spray can here? <coughs> okay, the uh, Unicon. So yeah, you just pump that baby up and it sprays out the oil. Uh, here's the oil we use. Okay, called Clean Strip J1A Winter Grade. Yeah, it is cold, so um, yeah. And then we have all, all our forms here neatly. Okay, so we got the rebar tied. So we got we went uh, uh, an inch and a half above the ground, and then we have uh, our top rebar at um, at one inch below the top of the concrete. And uh, we got both uh, 15M in there. Okay, so we use the uh, four and five inch uh, quick ties. Um, you see we got the bracing going on right now. There's a jig, a jig right there to uh, establish your width all the way at the top. Uh, and leave the nails up a bit so you can rip them easy. Um, after uh, the, all the uh, forms are in, we will brace it so it's all nice and straight. But, uh, See all the crush in here we put in to level it off. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll be able to pour this all tomorrow. Well, that's about 100 feet uh, uh, to do. So yeah, 100 feet, two meters. Um, but yeah, so yeah, to make sure your rebars, uh, you know, we, we come uh, an inch and a half up off the ground and uh, we're an inch below the top of the um, uh, top of the grade beam. So, uh, and then yeah, you're bracing. You, know, I showed you in the other videos how to do it. 
So right on. Well, last step. Last step is to do the wire. Uh, remember, we saved the wire from the last uh, when we stripped the last form. So it's pretty simple. We just wrap it three times around there, pull it tight, and uh, you know at least three times around here. Simple as that. All right. Remember to do it up as high as you can. Um, if some of the rebar is low, just put a screw in the other side and wrap it around that. Okay, so it's poor day, guys. All we have to do now is uh, we got to add some bracing. But I wanted to point out uh, we have two holes here. That's dangerous shit. So it's pretty deep, right? So that's enough to break it, break an ankle. So we're gonna cover that with plywood, and uh, we're gonna mark it so uh, nobody falls in there. Um, you can see it's just not straight, so we're gonna just add some bracing. We're gonna do a straight line um, and then brace it off. So there you go. It's ready for the pour. Remember that two by two is uh, we leveled that with the uh, with the laser, so the concrete will be uh, level. The great beams on the exterior here, they're all being ripped out, so um, they're all broken. It's crazy. I could show you this. <laughs> Never seen concrete break like this. Totally sunk in. And broken look at that isn't it amazing but anyways okay so yeah we got a ton of snow again it's, uh, it's the beginning of spring break and uh, of course uh, all Edmonton Alberta we got snow lots of fun so <coughs> oh man I can't wait till this gets all done and cleaned up but yeah we get the crush in there it's all level um, get some good base it's all nice and clean three bars tied um, yeah so this is the kind of stuff they, that's what the rock they use for the exterior underneath the cladding. Um, and then we have this other one here, this grade beam here. So um, I got to get them to bring in some crush so I can fill in the holes at the bottom. You see, see those holes right there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring them, getting them, bring in some crush so I can uh, pack those up. Um, but yeah, we got to get going because we only got an hour and a half. Actually, you know what? We're going to use a line laser. I uh, I'm, I'm, I changed my mind. <clears throat> I think if I can get enough, uh, if I can get this lined up, I'm gonna get some wood. Um, but yeah, if I could somehow, um, even if I gotta turn the lights off so I can see it, let me get some plywood, and I'll shoot that line across. To the other side. Uh, where is these light switches? Right over there, probably. So I'm gonna get to turn the lights off so I can see the line better. Um, I'm gonna also do an offset for the for the far side. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I need uh, actually, you know what? I'll just use one of these forms. It's perfect. All right. <clears throat> turn the lights off. Beautiful. This way, I'll be able to see it. We won't have any issues. Okay. Oh, God, fucker. <laughs> All right, so. So remember to make sure to, to check, make sure it's uh, it's not unlocked, okay? So it's locked, it's unlocked. What's that, buddy? So I can see the laser. Oh. Okay, so there's our line, okay? Uh, we can see it beautifully. So what I'm gonna do is I got an offset for the other side. <clears throat> an offset is just a, a mark so we can see the laser. Okay, I grab a marker uh, or a pencil. Good. Um, and then my square. Um, actually, you know what? The black marker will work best. Oh, come on, I don't... Where are you? Oh, whatever, I think that'll be good. And the wood, where did you go? Must have left it over here, damn it, I did. Jeez, okay. All right, so to create an offset, <clears throat> just grab a, a scrap piece of wood in your square and a marker, go in the center, and we're drawing a line, a nice straight square line. It's fucking, 
hard to to videotape and do this. Okay, anyway, so there we got our we got our, our offset on the wood. Okay, boop. Boop. Right there. Alright, we're just gonna take that offset to this side. <coughs> and it's gonna line up to the very end. Like so. So you can see right now we're we're <laughs> like four inches off. Alright, so we're good. We're gonna line this up. Whew. Should be awesomely good. Alright, so Okay, we're gonna be in there somewhere, Lamb. On, on our mark here. You gonna spot the mark here, Lamb? Okay. Uh, hey, you wanna tell me what I'm good at? I'm gonna go in a little bit. Alright, here's this. <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't really uploaded any videos uh, the past few days because I. Okay. Been, been working on my uh, my channel. Right there? Uh, yeah. Out a little? Yes. All right. So you see, I used just a marker, just to tap the the laser gently, not to move it too crazily. So so now you can see we're gonna need a bracing. Uh, we'll have to put some. If it has to go this way, we'll push it this way. We'll put probably three, this looks really good. It just has to come in this way a little bit here. Big time here. So this joint here, this joint here, lamb, has gotta come this way. Um, so what I'll do, you can see that now. Yeah, the laser's right on the line, we're, we're laughing here. So uh, yeah, so it could come probably out a little tiny bit, eh, lamb? The, the line, eh? I'm gonna tap it a little bit more in. Whew. So we grab the. Uh, <clears throat> see if that worked. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, we're laughing. Yeah, we're laughing there. Okay. So we grab a. Uh, the wood. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I haven't uploaded uh, many many videos this week just because I've been uh, uh, working on all my metadata and uh, watching uh, uh, um, YouTuber cr uh, Creator Fundamentals. Uh, I watched uh, I watched his live stream the other day. It was two hours long, and I spent probably 24 hours straight just uh, just fixing my channel. Okay, so we're gonna put. One here, and one here. No, so you just put the wood in like this. Yeah, make a and, hole. And draw and drill right at the very end, straight up. Though we'll put this peg in first, and then we'll push it and uh, put two nails in it. All right. So you see, we're gonna use we're gonna add two at least two braces on this one. Uh, probably add a third too somewhere. All right, so Lamb uh, drilled the ham the hole. We just put these little pegs in. I actually have a a proper hammer for that. <sighs> okay, so in theory, when we push this down, we go right on our mark, and we do see, see, voila. Perfect. So I'm gonna put two nails in there, two two and a half inch nails, and we're good to go. All right. So we have the the first form uh, 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 braced up. You see, I had a four on that side and one on this side. But you uh, you can see with the laser here, it's beautiful. It's perfect. Nice and straight and beautiful. So I'm gonna go brace the next one. I got the crush coming in, so I can feel feel the ends. So. Uh, yeah, look at that guys, that's how you do her. So you see I just put um, uh, one brace on every joint almost, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much every one. So um, yeah, just uh, two, two and a half nail, inch nails. Uh, just drill a, a piece of 10M rebar a couple inches in and you're good to go. Just use your scrap wood.
uh, for your braces. Good stuff. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, fuck, check that out. Gate yeah, concrete's poured. Uh, it's all good. So, like I was saying, um, oh yeah, our material showing up. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, concrete's poured. Uh, we took the two by two off to finish trowel it. You see how nice it is there, right? So uh, I've already taken the nails off. We've uh, lasered it, braced it. Make sure it's all nice and neat. It's beautiful. So. Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll come in at uh, noon and rip the forms. Yeah, looks really good. <clears throat> wow, it's a little noisy the beep, the backup beep, but all right. So <clears throat> yeah, um, so like I said, back there without the truck in the way. Um, so if you remember, we had a two by two set for our elevation, okay? Um, we took that off um, after we had uh, uh, set the height and uh, put, did one pass with the trowels. Uh, and then we come back and finish trowel it after with the two by two and the, and the cleats taken off. Uh, so at the end of the day, you just have the bracing and your, uh, your rebar braces, the wire all holding it together. The elevation is uh, lower uh, but it, it's flat uh, the, the the grade beam is flat all the way oh, see, yeah it's a little higher over here um, but we leveled it with a laser so it's good uh, so now when I put the steel stud wall on it uh, we're uh, we're level oh, it'll be interesting to see the, the the measurements from the beam oh it's they're angled anyway so it doesn't even matter uh, yeah steel stud just showed up like I said there's our truck Yeah, all right, material's here. So the guys are gonna get it in a bay for us, uh, boom it off, and uh, this time it'll be closer, which is awesome. But, yeah, no, everything went really well. We uh, we poured it uh, in less than two hours. It only took us uh, an hour and a half to uh, do the pour and then do the finishing. Uh, took all the two by twos off, denailed it. Uh, all the cleats are off, denailed it, and I got everything neatly stacked. Uh, where we stack our forms so uh, all in all went really really well it's actually really nice and warm so uh, secure good and um, yeah an hour and a half we did a hundred feet so that's pretty good um, all right so anyways make sure you guys like and subscribe uh, this is Chris from uh, Chris Conco Vlogs bye for now okay so we come back today to strip the forms you can uh, it's uh, looking really good um, by Monday it'll be all nice and dry so uh, we listened. I took all the screws out. Took all the wire out. Um, we are, we'll just bang the uh, form free. Um, if it's oiled, it'll come free easily. Um, and then, lastly, you'll take the rebar. Out. So just bang it with a uh, like a five-pound hammer, and uh, it'll come loose. Uh, so you can see I'm taking it off, and then uh, drop it like he's just about to to get the excess concrete off. <coughs> Just like that, and then we'll neatly stack them after. All right, guys. Look, uh, turned out really straight. Very, look, it's as straight as fuck. It's really straight. <laughs>